Welcome back to the channel, guys. Today in this video, we're gonna play holes four through six out at Timuron Country Club. We're gonna do a manage the course. We're gonna talk about every single shot. We're gonna talk about course management. We're gonna help you with your game. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe. Go ahead and like the video. Enjoy it. Number four, 410, par four, little dog leg left. We got a bunker on our right. That's about right in my landing zone again. This course uh, definitely has some trouble off the tee that we gotta be aware of. Little group of trees on the left. Um, basically, I'm gonna aim at those trees with a little cut as the plan. And if it doesn't cut, I hopefully get over those trees. We'll see how it ends up. Wind should be off my left again, so it should help my cut move just a little bit to the right. Wind almost feels a little into me now, which is fine. It's not an overly long par four. Right at the trees, push it, wind. All right, I didn't hear anything, so we either went right under them or right over them. A little bit of a tricky lie here. It's definitely uphill, ball's gonna be above my feet. All right, it's also on an upslope, which is gonna make the ball go higher, which is gonna make it not go as far. So my number is 104 to the flag stick. Wind is a little back into my face, I think. Yep, a little back into my face. So it's probably playing closer to 110, but since it's uphill lie, it's gonna to wanna to go higher, which is the wind's gonna hit it more. You gotta play it like 115 or so. So I've got my sand wedge, 54 degree. A absolute full sand wedge is about 120. Pin is all the way in the front, so I wanna be long. I don't wanna be short. So I'm gonna play it about 118, 120. I'm just gonna hit an absolute full pitch of, or sand wedge here. With the ball above my feet also, be sure to get those hips and those shoulders with the slope. And then I would choke down just a little bit on this club so you don't chunk it. Because if your club is longer, you're going to hit behind the golf ball. So choke down just a little bit to make up for that upslope. Now let's hit a good shot. Choke down. When you choke down, you're going to take yardage off. So this is absolutely going to be a full sand wedge here. And be sure to get onto that left side through impact. Don't fall backwards. And the ball is going to want to go to the left, so aim just a little right of your target. See, I pulled the shit out of it. Sit! <laughs> Alright, let's go find it. Alright guys, I'm down here, bottom of the slope. I just ripped left on me, that's why I was saying aim right. Sometimes it's going to go a little more left than normal. Um, got quite a bit of room here between... The rough, this is all fringe up until about right here. We got about, I'd say five yards of green. Wind's off my left. I'm gonna land this a little short and let it release onto the green. <clears throat> Looks like it might break a little to the right, so I'm gonna aim just a little left to the flag stick. Ball's sitting fine. Again, a little above my feet. Gonna choke down on my club just a hair. By the way, I don't chunk it. Ball's a little bit back in my stance. Stance is open to the target. Sit. Caught it a little too good. Hopefully it had some spin on it. It's all right, we're putting. <clears throat> Flew this one a little far, but that was the miss. By the way, we had a putt at it. It looks like it's pretty straight downhill. It's gonna move a little to my right, maybe. <clears throat> Let's look at it from both sides. I think it's down grain as well, which is gonna make it a little quicker. This side looks like it's gonna go left on me. So I think it's actually right edge. Again, get in the middle of it, feel it with your feet. Get on the low side of what you think the break is. Definitely gonna go a little bit to my left, but it's probably gonna straighten it out near the hole because a little mound up by the hole. Trust your line. Stay up. Yep, just fell left on me. It's all right. 
another bogey. Number five, par three, about 150, 155 or so. I got a nine iron. Pin is all the way in the back, so we want to be short again. If anything, that's our miss. We don't want to be long. So I've got, again, pretty good little nine iron here. Probably just going to hit it absolutely full. Wind is off my left, I believe. Can't really feel it back here. Might be into me just a hair, but I think we're okay. Let's see if I can hit a good iron shot. Yeah, a little short. That's all right, that's our miss. Now we got an uphill putt. Had a little bit of spin on that one. Spun back about four feet. Definitely got an uphill putt here, which is good. We want uphill putts. We can be a little more aggressive on the uphillers. This one, <clears throat> uphill right to left. Let's see if we can drain a bomb. It's moving right on me. That's a misread. Good speed. I don't see it. But I didn't look at it from the other side, so that's my fault. Should have looked at it from both sides. I'm sure this side you can probably see it. As I walk up, I can see there's a mound here that's going to push it to the right. <clears throat> that's why you always look from both sides. All right, so now we got a little bit of a tester because we misread it. Got a par putt from about five feet, four or five feet. Downhill or right to left. The key here is always to play enough break. That should be it right there. Just hit a good putt, trust your line. Stay up. God, see that thing dove left. <sighs> I hate three putts, I hate them. Number six, par five. Not too long, a little water left, bunker right. We're just gonna hit the fairway, how about that? Wind should be off my right. We're gonna stay away from that bunker right. Just piped. Just off the left side here. Technically, I'm gonna call that a fairway. We're just off, but close enough. We got this big ass tree on our left. That's gonna be kinda in the way. So, I'm 200 on the number to the flag stick. Wind is behind me and off my right. I've got a six iron, which is about 195-ish. I think six iron might be high enough to get over that tree as well. So let's see, there's a little tarp on the right edge of the green. That's where I'm aiming and see if this thing will draw just a little bit. Should be able to get on in two here. Good lie. And I pushed it. Couldn't tell if I got in that bunker or if it's over the bunker on that hill. But I pushed it just like I've been doing all day. All right, guys, I'm in the bunker. Everything's sloping away from me. So I just got to get this one on the front edge and let it release. I've got my 54 degree because I want to hit this one a little farther. Sand feels pretty firm. It's sitting up real nice though. Just don't get cute and short. Get it on the green. There's a backstop behind it. But if you go past, it's gonna come back down to the left. So I'm gonna aim a little right of this and actually just play to get it on the green and hopefully a little past and then it'll come back. Let's see what we got. Now come back. Perfect. We'll take it. Got a birdie putt. This is a par five, so thanks to a pretty good little bunker shot, we got a chance at getting a stroke back here. Whenever you can get below the putting surface, do so. And look at the, it's so much easier to read from down here. So again, I see that it's gonna break a little bit to my right. Pretty flat putt. Uphill just a hair. Just be sure to hit it. You don't want to leave this little S putt short. I think left edge firm. I think that's the putt. Let's look at it from both sides though, since I did misread the last one. 
I think we're good. There it is.